everyone, it's Mary. Today I'm filming part two and final part of my birthday book haul. Um, as I said, I've got some books that were gifted to me and some that I purchased with money that was gifted to me. Um, and being still in November, I hope, when I upload this video, uh, I, I'll start with the non-fiction that I got that actually was all gifted to me, which is great. First up in plain, I would say Mary style, a book about education. Although this one is not about children. Um, it's a uh, Pedagogy of the Oppressed by Paulo Freire. Um, he's from Brazil, so I hope I didn't mis mispronounce his name. This is sort of a classic, I would say, because it was written quite a bit, um, quite a long time ago, actually. I think it's from the 60s. I could be very wrong, though. I want to be sure. Well, 1970. So yeah, well, in the 70s. And it's um, in in this book the author discusses education uh, in relation in uh, yes in relation with um, poverty and uh, being oppressed. So the relationship between oppressor and oppressed and how you know um, what are the consequences of forcing education on. On, on people and uh, this is just I just scratched the surface even though it's a very short book I suspect it's going to be very dense and I don't know if it's the easiest book to go through but I'm very interested in it um, and I think it could be still relevant to us now um, so yeah this one then we've got <clears throat> A book I'm very excited about. Well, I'm a, I'm excited about all of them, of course. Uh, but this is a mind spread spread out on the ground by Alicia Elliott. And first of all, the cover is gorgeous. Um, but yes, you already know that. Um, but I've I've heard so many great things about this book. This is a collection of essays from what I've, I've gathered of the author um, talking about uh, the native um, people experience uh, and her like balancing her life between white and indigenous communities uh, and, and of course she, she puts out her personal experience she's from Canada and I th th this is a topic that I've never read about so I hopefully will enjoy this one very much last nonfiction that I have is Carrie Hudson Lowborn um, and <laughs> I love, I love that my mother-in-law gifted me this one and she was like, I don't know because she doesn't know English at all um, but she's like, I saw children on the cover so I thought I, I'd get that one <laughs> um, and I, I just thought it was endearing uh, but anyway, this is Carrie Hudson memoir as she grew up in, in the UK uh, being very poor and uh, she, she's now a successful author and she, she goes back to the places in which she lived. Uh, she was constantly moving with her single mother and she retraces back her story, um, you know, uh, even geographically. And I just heard everybody rave about this one. And I'm, it's kind of funny that, of course, I have a lot of books, uh, especially memoirs from the UK um, and also the US, of course, but mostly, you know, UK, uh, because I, I follow a lot of people from, you know, I'm subscribed to a lot of UK booktubers, which makes me think about how I don't think I've ever read a memoir by an Italian author. Um, so possibly I need to correct me. I'm very interested in this one. Next, for the fiction part, I was watching, I think yesterday, um, a video by Nicole over at, Nicole is here to learn, and I'm gonna leave a link to her channel down below if you're not subscribed to her. What are you doing? Um, she's great, uh, and she was um, filming a TBR about of, of books that, of course, she didn't read yet. And um, she was saying how she, uh, you know, most most times, like most booktubers, when they talk about books that they haven't read, they don't know a lot about the books. Uh, of course, like some people maybe like to research uh, what the books are about before diving into them but I'm not one of them and Nicole isn't either and I suspect a lot of people are like us that we just want to I don't like personally I hate spoilers I absolutely hate spoilers even movies TV shows I tend not to watch trailers and such I just like the idea of something maybe or the, or there are some buzzwords and um, that click 
you know, that, that just instantly want, m m make me want to read that book. Or maybe somebody has presented the book to me in a way in which, you know, it's, it's appealing. Um, and I feel it's like most times that's why I, it's hard for me to film TBR, uh, TBRs and book calls because I feel disingen it's disingenuous to just read the blurb and try to memorize what's happening in the book so that I can tell, tell it to you guys and I hate blurb reading that's something that I don't want to do on my channel um, and she said you know what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna talk about the books that I want to read and I, I'm just gonna tell you what I think they're about maybe I'm wrong uh, and maybe I, uh, I'm not. Uh, I don't want to know because I want to go a little bit blind into them and I feel like that's the, the same spirit that I want to uh, that I want to have here. Of course with non-fiction I feel it's a bit different because of course if I want to read a book um, it's not that I have to be surprised by the story. I feel like they're, they're two completely different things. So, um, but when I read a story, I do want to be surprised. Um, and I don't want to have expectations uh, on the, you know, um, based on, on what I've read. Or maybe you read the blurb and you read something that happens like halfway through the book and you're reading, waiting for that thing to happen. And it's just frustrating, you know? Of course, sometimes it can go the wrong way, like, what happened when I read uh, The Black Flamingo that I thought was a memoir and it wasn't um, and well yeah whatever um, but on that note I will talk about fiction books that I've got that I don't yes I don't know a lot about them but they all sound very intriguing to me um, apart from one that I think I, mm, I, I got the gist of it a little bit more um, so the first one is Tipping the Velvet by Sarah Waters and I got this one because I read uh, Sarah Waters book last month or yes last month in September I believe we're in November though well I read the, uh, a Sarah Waters book recently and I absolutely loved it it was Fingersmith it was so enthralling is that the right word it was so um, engaging uh, and I just thought I need another Sarah Waters book because you know, then I know that when I pick one of her books, I'm just gonna be completely immersed uh, and I'm just gonna have a great experience. So I hope this one um, is gonna be, you know, somewhat similar. I just know that it has a stage, like there is a stage somehow that somebody's performing uh, and it, there's queer characters, which I enjoy and basically that's it and it's historical fiction which I love but I'm not sure about the period um, in which it's set so yes um, hopefully I like this one um, <clears throat> then we've got Boy Parts by Eliza Clark and again this book I heard uh, well actually I was already interested in it because I don't remember who hauled this book but I didn't even, I didn't hear anybody talk about you know reading this book finally uh, but I read I heard Liv over at a book nook she's so good at convincing uh, people I, I would say but me in particular to buy books uh, just because the way in which she presents them just makes me want to instantly purchase them um, and as I said this one was on my radar as uh, already so when she raved about this I was like I need to buy it um, this is a book about a woman that uh, she's a photographer and she takes sort of explicit pictures of uh, young men and she gets a little bit obsessed with uh, one I think it's I think he is a friend of hers but I'm not really sure it's supposed to be a bit dark a bit um, over the top maybe and yeah it's it sounds weird but a uh, weird that I like so Again, hopefully I like this one. Next, we've got Swimming Lessons by Claire Fuller. And I have to say, first of all, I have been obsessed with this cover for a long time now. I don't, I think I saw this book on booktube when I first started in 2015. But I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm not wrong. Um, and I remember a lot of people, well, actually, I remember hearing sort of, um, uh, different reviews like some people really like this book some people thought Mleh, I don't know but um, I have to admit like 
half of the reason why I wanted to read this book is because of the cover because I absolutely love it but it's not only that it's a story from what I gathered it's a story about this woman that disappears suddenly and they believe like the, her family um, her husband and her daughter I don't know if she has one or two daughters but they uh, they believe she drowned um, and some of them believe that she drowned, some don't, and she left, she apparently left some uh, letters or some, uh, you know, writings of hers uh, amongst her books and possessions, and they start to find these, uh, these letters and figure out maybe a bit more about her life and why uh, or if she disappeared. That's just, you know, what I gathered, and it sounds, actually it sounds like a great book, other than having a beautiful cover, as I said. Shallow me, shallow me. And the last book is, I'm so excited about this one because uh, it's a bit, um, it's a bit of a pricey book. That's why I never actually got to it earlier. Um, I mean, it's not like crazy expensive, but it's like 30 euros and I never spend 30 euros for a book. Uh, I think my average is 10, like 10 is a good price. For me and this is 30 so I was like mm, I need to you know I need a, an excuse like a birthday to get it uh, and it's because of the way it's produced that it's so pricey um, and it's a book that I've, uh, I've heard people talk about again in the beginning uh, of, of, of booktube <laughs> well, of my channel at least um, and then I've never saw anyone else talk about it and it is S by JJ uh, Abrams and Doug Dorst. Um, so let me premise this book a little bit because first of all it had a seal that I had to break which sort of didn't I didn't really like to break it uh, but yes that's the only way I could uh, get the book out and the book inside is called um, uh, Ship of Theseus by VM Straka and actually what this book is, is sort of a book within a book because the storyline is that there is this book, uh, Ship of Theseus, that is like a, a library book as you can see from the, the, the back, the spine, um, and uh, a student sort of um, leaves it behind with a lot of notes on the book and um, another a girl picks it up I don't I don't remember if she's a student as well but they start talking back and forth um, inside the book like on the notes uh, the margins of the book and so you have like a double narrative in which you have the story of the book and then their story has them trying to figure out what happened to the author because apparently you know there's sort of a mystery surrounding the author and this book and you're following along with them uh, reading you know the notes and actually it's I'm afraid I make oh okay I'll, I'll try and show you how it's structured uh, all the notes they have also different colors because of different you know, timelines and it has uh, inside all these things that I'm so afraid to that they're gonna come out because they actually they have a set you know they need to stay where they are so uh, possibly I will um, write where they go so that if I lose some of them I know where they where they are um, and also if I can I'll, I'll insert like a close up a close up a cut out I don't know the term a cut out of the book if I know how to do that I'm not sure I do uh, but yeah I'll, I'll try and um, it's so it's beautiful it's it sounds so fun and I was actually looking for a way in which I could read it because um, as for me I would just read it the whole, the whole thing like read the, the story of the book and then the notes but I know that in the in the notes uh, there are spoilers of the you know of the of the ship of Theseus and the best way apparently to read this book would be to first read the story uh, of Ship of Theseus, ignoring all the the details, the notes, all the um, the, the photographs and stuff that, that's inside, and then reread basically the book through the notes. So I think that's how I'm going to approach it, and I probably will read this book in December just because I am so excited about this. Really, it sounds like oh, so much fun. So uh, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. 
and okay, I did something wrong. Uh, I was saying, so let me know if you read any of the books uh, that I mentioned, if you enjoyed them. Let's just talk about them in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!